I've been finishing up the last little parts of work on the FJ Cruiser. I still have to get power to the roof, but this is essentially the vehicle we're going to be taking to Alaska. Um, it's all set up. Pretty much everything we need. All right, so the rear of the FJ Cruiser I have set up with a cargo area, cargo storage place, and a place to fix food. Um, hopefully the bears won't like our truck too much up there in Alaska, but this is a front runner deal. I made a custom maple tray for that because the one they had on there was kind of a generic plywood. All right, so I have kind of cook area set up on the back over here. Now that's a front runner table. I made a custom maple pull-out tray. Uh, give you a little bit of extra room to store stuff. Since I was already making the maple, I added one here as well. I'll show that in just a minute, but this is the cargo area for the back of the vehicle. It allows us to store all of our cooking and camping gear. There's areas on the edge for equipment, um, extra, extra gear out there that we might need. Okay, I added another kind of a cutting board here because there's sometimes when you're out camping, you need a place to chop vegetables and whatnot. So this thing here fits underneath the drawer. Um, it can be pulled out completely and put over on a table, uh, or you can just leave it there if you need to load stuff on the fridge. But it packs away real nicely up underneath here so it doesn't roll around in the back. Uh, these drawers are set up, but basically have all the cooking gear down in the bottom here. That'll of course be rearranged for things we definitely need. And then this drawer I added on the top for kind of a pantry. So I have a refrigerator in the back. This is probably my favorite addition to the build. Um, I don't know why I ever didn't have a fridge. Now this is my second one. Uh, the first one I sold with a trailer that I built. But this is just a standard 60 liter, 47 quart. Um, I have water in it for you know working it uh, at work and whatnot. But anyway, that'll store enough food and, and uh, meat to last you know a week or two. Um, I've got it set up on a second battery in the system. I also put in a simple little light set back here so at night we can see. There's an awning that comes out over the top of the back here. Uh, so if there's rain or whatnot, we still have a place where we can cook food.